Hello everyone, I'm Mark with Corelight. Today I'm going to provide a quick overview of the SMB files log. The SMB files log is one of a pair of logs that Corelight sensors generate to document usage of the SMB or server message block protocol. This protocol is most commonly used in enterprise environments for sharing files and folders over a network so that many people can interact with them collaboratively. Additionally, some remote administration tasks can take place over SMB. Attackers that have compromised a network can use SMB to collect sensitive documents from around the network for exfiltration, to distribute malware or tools to other systems in the network, or to cause mass destruction by deleting, rewriting, or encrypting files over the network. It is for these reasons that it is so important to monitor the usage of SMB within an enterprise network. The SMB files log is only one of the logs for the SMB protocol. In another video, we will take a look at the SMB mapping log. Let's take a look at an example transaction from an SMB files log. The log contains the usual information that identifies the connection, including the origin or client IP address and port, and the responder or server IP address and port. The entry also contains the connection UID, which links to all other Corelight logs from the same connection. The SMB specific information in the record begins with the action, which indicates whether this was an open, read, write, delete, rename, or modification of attributes. There is the path field, which is the base path of which server and share the file was in. And there's the name field, which indicates the rest of the extended path and file name. Additionally, there are fields which document the creation, modification, and access dates on record for the file. From this example record, you can see that a client at IP address 172.16.4.218 accessed a file server called server01.local at IP address 172.16.4.66. Within a file share called podcasts, the client wrote to a subdirectory called downloads a file that appears to be an episode of CarTalk in MP3 format. You can additionally use the FUID, or File Unique Identifier, to pivot to the Files log, which would have more information about the file MIME type, for instance to confirm that the file's format was consistent with an audio file, and the file hashes, which could be used to check the file against lists of IOCs, or to confirm that the file in the share still has the same hash and hasn't been tampered with since the time of this record. One more note about this log. Take a look at the field smbfp underscore cl. This stands for SMB Fingerprint Client. Corelight sensors use a powerful scripting language called Zeek, which can be used to write scripts and packages that extend and enhance the data generated. This sensor was running a script called smbfp, written by a member of the Zeek community, which generates a fingerprint value for the SMB client based on its behavior. This can be used to look for clients that change their behavior, or for specific client types such as Windows or Samba, based on their fingerprint. For example, if you saw two records with different SMB fingerprints from the same IP address, it is likely that those interactions were performed using different pieces of software, which is an additional piece of information that could prove useful in an investigation of a security incident. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Corelight representative. We're stronger when we defend together.